Man, man oh man, Awesome Games Done Quick 2014 was absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. For those of you who didn't see my last video and uh, what Awesome Games Done Quick is all about, it is a charity event where gamers get together and they play an assortment of games for the entire week to raise money for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. And, I mean, this stream was fantastic. Fantastic. I've seen, I was able to witness so many awesome things that I didn't think could be done with certain video games. And I'm going to that, get into that a little bit later. But, they had a goal of half a million dollars. That was their goal. And they completely smashed it. Completely smashed it. They were able to raise over one million dollars. The link will be in the description. Once again, congratulations to everybody who put on the stream. A big thank you to the, the hotel that allowed them to host this event. And congratulations to all the speedrunners who are able to set records on stream and everybody that participated and that were there and everyone in the lot in the live stream and the stream chat and all and of course to everyone who donated I mean we had we had people donating whatever they could you know from a dollar five dollars twenty dollars you know whatever they could and then we had people the generosity of some of these people just blew me away we had people donating five hundred dollars at a time a thousand dollars at a time awesome this really did my heart a lot of good because I've been done I've been dealing with a lot of negativity lately and this this really did my heart some good to see people use one of my my hobby to to do something positive to help somebody to give someone who's struggling with the disease the chance to fight to live another day to have more time with their families to spend more time with their kids, to experience new things, if possible. You guys have no idea how much this Awesome Games Done Quick stream has meant to me. Thank you so much. I know that this has been done before, and I'm a late bloomer, bloomer because I've been a fan of Awesome Games, or, or Speed Demo Archives, I should say. Um, and I've watched several different speedruns of certain games, mostly the Metroid games, because that's what I enjoy speedrunning. That's really the only game I, I speedrun besides Sonic the Hedgehog. <clears throat> but this was fantastic. This is my first time really taking part in the live stream. And this was fantastic. Fantastic. I loved every minute of it. I donated what I could. Um... I mean, I'm almost at a loss of words because over the past few years in gaming, gaming hasn't has been being attacked for things that it shouldn't be blamed for. And then we've had a lot of people in the community just being so immature. It's ridiculous. These are the moments that we game for. These are the moments that we play for. The moments where we can do something to help somebody. So, I, I have a question for the media. When can I expect you to cover this in a story? Gamers raised over one million dollars for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. When can I expect you to cover this story? Oh, that's right, you won't because this doesn't get ratings. But I'm sure it's Soon as someone kills someone, a gamer kills someone, or a random person kills someone, and you happen to find out that he plays video games, I'm sure you'll blame video games for this. The minute another mass shooting happens, you'll blame video games. I'm sure. If you want to know what's funny, some of these same violent video games that you blamed 
for the reason that these criminals were lost their minds with, because they played the violent video games. These same violent video games helped raise one billion dollars to to ensure that someone who has this terrible disease can live to fight another game. Excuse me, live to fight another day. Games like Doom, Doom 1 and 2, Half-Life 2, Halo, Quake, Borderlands. These same Hitman Blood Money. These same violent video games that are always ruining our youth. Oh, uh, what do we do? We have to get the violent video games away from our children because it's killing them. It's ruining their minds. These same violent video games helped raise over one million dollars to help someone have another day, another moment, another year with their family, their friends, their kids, or whomever they hold dear to them. So media, when can I see you cover this story? But I'm going to get off that. I want to talk about a one, what is this guy's name? Zalert One played Super Punch Out, completely blindfolded, and he beat the whole game. The whole game. And Sinister One, he played Mike Tyson's Punch Out, blindfolded, and got all the way to Mike Tyson. Eh, we're just gonna say he beat the whole game because Mike Tyson, his fighting style is completely random, so that's kind of hard to, to fight and beat Mike Tyson blindfolded. I personally didn't think this could be done. You know, I, I played Mike Tyson's punch out and never could beat it. I never could beat it, but somebody beat it blindfolded right before my eyes and it was fantastic. Those were some of the most awesome runs I've ever seen. Look it up on YouTube. Type in um, Zalert One and Sinister One. Mike Tyson punch out, blindfold run. I, I, absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. I've seen, I've witnessed games be beaten in times that I think, that I thought weren't possible because these games took me several hours to beat. Like 20 hours, 25 hours. Like Chrono Trigger, in under 5 hours. Wind Waker was done in under 6 hours. Borderlands 2 was done in under 3 hours. Mirror's Edge was also done in like 2 or 3 hours. Absolutely fantastic. Like I said earlier, these are the moments that we play for. This was more than a bunch of people sitting around arguing with each other over the internet over something that they said over video games. This was more than a console war. Petty arguments over what you think is the best console. This was more than someone begging for money so they can go and participate in a fighting game tournament. This is more than feminists trying to push an agenda that really isn't there in gaming. I'm not saying that they don't hold any validity, you know, or that they don't make some valid points, but some people kind of go overboard and they try to push their own opinions as a fact and you know who you are this was a win this week this past week was a win for gamers this was a win for the community I mean I'm just I'm, I'm blown away I, I feel this this has done my heart a lot of good they're still streaming as of right now I'm not sure if you can still donate. I believe you can. They're doing a bonus stream. This is a bonus stream. Um, so they're still playing games right now. I'm not sure how much longer it'll last. But uh, this is it's, it's just... What can I say? The things that we receive in our lives, all of it, can be used to help somebody. This is what life is about. 
loving each other, taking care of one another. And I'm just, I, I, I'm, I'm really happy to see this from the gaming community. But sadly, I'm pretty sure it's, it's time to get back to reality. There's um, already been some negative gaming news that's come down the pipe. And I'll get to it when I get to it. Because real life is more important than gaming. But that's all I got for now. It's been Omni. I am out of here. Till next time, take care of yourselves and each other.